Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new review video. So today we're going to be reviewing this. So this is the Lionel Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends James the Red Engine Lionel Train. So we're just going to have a look at the front of the box. So Thomas the Tank Engine Friends electric train system. Comes with three faces, which I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. As seen on Shining Time, the US, um, the US TV show. So let's turn this round. So you can see you can collect James with the troublesome trucks and you've got Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle. You look to have a windmill, a track mat, looks quite nice. There's another picture of James with the other three expressions. So I actually like Lionel, I think they are a quite a good company still making uh thomas the tank engine and friend trains even today so obviously this is a large scale well before um backman ever came out with the uh large scale trains So it says, the Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends electric railway system has been developed to provide hours of educational fund for children and their families. These large scale engines and accessories enable children to recreate their favourite Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends episodes as seen on the PBS television series, as well as developing their own stories through creative and imaginative play. All engines and accessories are safely detested, durable, and compatible with each other and can be combined in many different ways. This allows children to develop and enhance their storytelling techniques, hand-eye and motor skills, creativity and imagination, and is great for both individual and cooperative play. So let's have a look. Is there anything more we can see on the... Uh... So, Shining Time, Created by Britt Allcroft and Rick Sigelkow, if I've pronounced that correctly. And this came out in 1994. Um, made in China. Let's see if I can spot anything. Anything else? Does it say age? Don't think it does. So I'll have a look on the instructions. So let's open this. So we just open the box and we can see James inside. So we're going to pull the polystyrene out and see what's in there. So here we go. So it's out of the box and here we've got James and we've got the three faces that come with it. They are quite flimsy, flimsy plastic pieces. So not a... Uh, not the best in the world, shall we say. Then we got James's cross face. So I'm now going to remove him from the packaging and we're going to have to take a closer look. So here we go then, guys. So we have got James in his glory. So this comes with a plastic face piece. And I'm going to demonstrate now all the different faces that come with this. So we have got Angry James. We've got another facial expression.
and finally when James does something wrong sad so this is made out of plastic or this bit is so it's going to have a quick look at the actual itself. So we've got a buffer here with the so this is almost entirely plastic, so you've got your your bogies number five engine. And then we've got inside the driver's cab quite a quite a, quite a lot of space in there so that's quite nice to see obviously the backman version is a lot more superior to this but that was released 20 30 years ago Ah, it makes it makes you feel old. <laughs> so there we go. There we go, James. So shall we have a look underneath you? So we've got the wheels there. Obviously, when they're on an electric track, they will go. I haven't got an electric track at the minute, so I can't um, do the demonstration. But that looks quite nice, actually. Looks really nice. So let's couple you up again. Got your synthetic coal on top. So very popular engine is James. Uh, this is the um, polystyrene that it comes in. So engine goes in both of them and the faces go on top. So that is the end of the review. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the Lionel James. Um, more reviews will be coming very soon, including the Cool Props, uh, Annie and Clarabelle. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Goodbye, James.